The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. This is Pastor Taylor. As Jesus was traveling with his disciples, they were speaking about something, and they weren't speaking about that which he just told them, namely, that the Son of Man was going to be handed over, that he would die, and on the third day rise again. Instead, the disciples were obsessed with themselves, the exclusivity of their own discipleship, thinking that for some way, shape, or form, they should be regarded as great, and then among themselves, trying to figure out who was the greatest of them all. Jesus, of course, corrects this by showing them that true greatness comes by being last and being servant of all. And that, of course, is why Jesus is the greatest. He serves us by going to the cross to suffer and die for us and rise from the dead. And that same Jesus brings us to the waters of holy baptism where he connects us with his death and resurrection. He gives us his precious body and blood for forgiveness, life, and salvation. He forgives us all our sins and comes to us in his holy and life-giving word so that we might hear and live. This Jesus calls us to lives of service as well. Not that we should be obsessed about ourselves. Instead, we turn our eyes on Christ Jesus. We look to him. And as we look to him, we look to see how we can share him with others and how we can serve others. That true discipleship is one that carries us through in this veil of tears all the way until Jesus comes back in glory, where every knee bows and every tongue confesses that Jesus Christ is Lord of all. Thanks be to God that our Lord Jesus is the great servant and what a privilege and honor and joy it is to be in his service as well. The blessing of God Almighty be upon you and remain with you forever, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.